हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन नंबर थ्योरी एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिविजिबिलिटी सो सिंस चाइल्डहुड वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिविजन एंड यू नो दैट अ डिविजन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग अ क्वेश्चन एंड अ रिमाइंडर व्हाट डज दैट मीन सो लेट्स से इफ यू हैव डिवाइडेड 24 बाय 8 राइट सो यू वुड हैव डन दिस method and this is thrice 8 times 3 is 24 and you get remainder as 0 isn't it so remainder is 0 and this happens to be the quotient quotient and this number is called the divisor and my dear friends this number 24 here is called dividend this is our learning isn't it now in this particular session we are going to first define divisibility and then subsequently we are going to discuss different properties related to divisibility of integers again so we are going to first of all assume that we are going to deal only with integers first of all integers only right and in integers also we are mostly going to discuss non negative non negative integers that is the whole numbers right so we will be dealing with different properties of divisibility okay so what divisibility is let's first define it and then talk about its properties so let's define divisibility what is divisibility so we say that an integer an integer and every word will become very important so please mark them an integer b is divisible by divisible by another integer a or by another non zero integer non zero integer i will illustrate the meaning of every word but please pay attention to the words which i am writing an integer b is divisible by another non zero integer a a if if there exists if there exists another integer another integer x okay another integer x such that such that b is equal to a times x b is equal to a times x okay right this is what is meant by divisibility okay so let's take an example example uh so we say as we discuss the previous case itself so 24 is divisible divisible by 6 or let's say 8 in this previous case we had taken 8 So twenty four is very much divisible by eight. Why? Because twenty four can be expressed as eight times three. So here, this is my b. This is a, and this is x. Right. So we did find an integer x which is equal to three here, which uh, and, and multiplying by eight, I can express twenty four. Right. So let's take another one. So twenty four is also divisible by four or six. Divisible. By six, why? Because we again get another integer four. In this case, x is four, correct? So this is b, a, and x. So again, we could find out another integer four such that six into four is twenty-four. So we say that twenty-four is divisible by six. Let's take another example. So this was first, second, and third example. Let's take. So third example could be uh, let's take a higher number, maybe one forty-four. Okay. One forty-four is divisible, divisible by twelve. Right? Why? Because we will get another integer twelve times x. I have to find right. So what is that x here? Twelve itself. So twelve, twelve, twelve times twelve is one forty-four. So we say one forty-four is divisible by twelve. Similarly, uh, all even numbers you can general generalize all even numbers all even numbers are divisible by 
right? All even numbers are divisible by 2. You can check 4, 8, 12, 24, 26, whatever, because every time you'll get an x. So 2 into 2 in this case, then 8 can be written as, um, yeah, 8 can be written as 4 times 2. So x is 2 here. 12 can be written as um, uh, 6 times 2 or 2 times 6. So x is 6. Sorry, in this case, x is 4. Right. And then 24 can be written as 2 times 12. So x is 12. 26 can be written as 2 times 13. So x is 13. Correct. So every even number are every even numbers are or all even numbers are divisible by 2. Similarly, all alternate even numbers are divisible by 4 and so on and so forth. You can check all of them. Every third number is also divisible by 3. So for example, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, all are divisible by 3. Correct. These are all examples of divisibility. Now, if there is something divisible, there can be something not divisible as well. For example, so uh, let's take example 8 is not divisible by divisible by 3. Why? Because we will not get any integer such that 3 times x, x cannot be an integer. x is not an integer. Why? Why is that so? Because if you try to express x as, so 8 is equal to 3x, so clearly 8 is equal to 8 upon 3. Now this is a fraction or not, not uh, you know, this is not a not an integer. Not an integer at all. Right? So you can't divide 8 by 3. Isn't it? So not an integer. So 8 is not divisible by 3. Similarly, similarly, 36 is, let's say, not divisible by 11. Why? Because 36 into 11, or oh sorry, 36 is equal to 11 times something. Correct? Let's say x. But x is, x cannot be, so x is 36 upon 11, not an integer. Right, so x always has to be an integer, which we are not able to find out. So hence we say 36 is not divisible by 11. Now we have a special notation for divisibility. Notation. What is that notation, guys? So let's say if A divides B, right? If A, A divides B exactly, exactly means there is no remainder. Then we say A and we write this line bar and then B. So this means A, A divides B. So what are the meanings of this particular notation? A divides B or a is a factor of B. Clear? Examples, all the above examples will be handy. So 3 divides 12, 6 divides 48, 7 divides 21, 8 divides 64 and so on and so forth. Right? So this is one notation. Please keep in mind, wherever you see such kind of a language it means a divides b similarly if a doesn't divide b then we'll write a this correct so what does this mean it means a doesn't divide b okay let's take an example again so it doesn't divide 65 7 doesn't divide 50, 9 doesn't divide 83, and so on and so forth. Understood? So that's how this language, uh, yeah, what does this uh, notation, particular notation mean? Okay, 